Hey everyone, so in today's makeup tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the quickest and easiest makeup tutorial. Da, 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 da. So in the last video, I did a really high glam festive look and I wanted to take it back and not do such a full glam. So this is the makeup look that I generally do a few weeks leading up to Christmas when I'm going to work. So that's how quick and that's how easy. If I can do this before work, then you can do it for a night out. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this quick and easy festive look, let me just show you. <laughs> Then just keep on First watching. things first, let's get some base on this face because I have a big massive spot the week of Christmas. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm going to be covering it up. So I'm using the Elemis. This is basically a glowing primer and I just love using this to give myself a lovely all over glow. Okay, so what I would typically do when I'm getting ready for work is do a quick foundation lads i can't explain how quick this is going to be and how easy so keep up <laughs> so first things first i'm going to go in with my normal foundation that i always use but because this is a shade lighter i do mix it with my bobby brown so i'll just show you now i'm going to go in i kind of just go down the center of my face and cover this big massive spot it's actually sore then I get my darker shade because I'm because this foundation is way too light. So I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade W054. And I just basically mix it on my face. One pump of this should be fine. And then I kind of keep it to the outer. I like to keep the center bright. So I'm patting over that big spot so that the coverage stays on that. And then buffing the rest in. base nicely buffed in i'm gonna go into products that i religiously use when i'm going to work because they are so easy and so quick to get to work on what they need to do it's just so handy and that is the made by mitchell the bronzer creme crave which is this one right here and then a shy boy or the other blusher that i have by made by mitchell whichever one i grab and I just use these all the time in the morning because they are so quick to buff in. I'm not spending too long doing my makeup. Okay, so I normally go into the bronzer first. I'm nearly actually all out with this product, which I'm raging about. So I literally throw this on. There is no precise way, really. Not even on my nose. I don't even be too accurate. So I'm kind of going around above my brow like that and around my forehead and then back down to the other one, touching the brow, see there? I go at the sides like that, as you can see. Sorry, I'm running out. <laughs> and then I go from the brows down my nose like that. That's it. Wait and you see how quick this bends. Uh, wait until you see how quick this blends in. So I'm grabbing his made by Mitchell and this one is in MF1. And you just basically buff that shade in. That was it. See that? Done. It doesn't set so you have a lot of time to work with. And that's the finish that it gives. It's just a nice blended finish. See how quick this is? So yeah, I definitely recommend his cream products. I don't own any of his eyeshadows though, so. I can't really speak about them, can I? Okay, so now that that's buffed in, and I still use the same brush. Oh, so it still smells like the sanitizer. <laughs> Anyways, so get your, get your blusher. A shy boy, love the name. Boop and boop. Like already, that's loads loads same brush and i bounce it and i move it from left to right i start it kind of high up because when you move cream products it does move so creamy and sometimes this gets a bit too blushy for me 
and I might go over with my foundation brush at the end we'll see let me see do I look too blushy to you hmm. now it looks good so yeah I just kind of like bounce this more than back and forward and then I just bounce it up to my temples and yeah it goes up like that okay so that's my base done so I'm just gonna set the entire face with some translucent powder I generally now just set the t-zone because my skin is not that oily because it's winter so I just bounce this where I need to particularly around the nose and mouth area due to masks obviously and then my forehead and then I like to, when I'm going to work, add a little something something using the same brush, which is the Makeup Artelier, and I use a brightening powder. So whatever brightening powder you have, I believe Kim Kardashian has one and Holly Boone from England. I've seen that she has a makeup brand, but yeah, so I'm just going to use my version of them. <laughs> and it's the Makeup Artelier. This one is the yellow shade. There's no numbers or anything but anyways it's the lightest shade there and I press it press as you can see on my nose can you see that and then I look up and press it underneath my eye and it just really brightens that area like so press press it's kind of like bacon like that I'm just going to get, sorry, I just want to, it kind of, I got a bit too much there, so just buff it off a little bit there. So that's just doing a little quick eye brightener without using concealer. It just depends on what you prefer. So today I'm just using a powder. So next up, I like to go over, Ooh. okay, <laughs> without knocking everything down, next up uh, is my bronzer. So the bronzer that I'm going to use is by Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and it is in Beijing Gal. So this one right here and this is what I'm going to use as my eyeshadow because I don't tend to put too much eyeshadow on my eyes when I'm going to work. So yeah, I'm just going to dip it in with a fluffy brush. So this is the fluffy brush and bronzer that I'm using. So this one's by Zoeva 228. And what I like to do is slowly buff it into my brow like that and then when I'm coming from my brow like this I just go out kind of like that whale emoji that I always say in all my videos so that kind of shape so there's the head the hump into my brow bone can you see that and then I just kind of lightly flick out to the temples I don't go too heavy with this that is basically all I do I know so fast so quick sometimes I get a smaller brush and I might just drag it slightly on on the bottom lash line like so nothing too cray that's basically all the eyeshadow that I use oh. now for the fun part I like to grab my gel liner so you pick whatever gel liner that you prefer this one is by Note, it's in ultra black and it has a little tip on it like so. So I like to do it quite thick because I'm going to show you the reason why after. So yeah, so the liner has to be thick. Thick. Anyways, sorry. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Get yourself a closer mirror. Let's do this. So I always like to tilt my head back when I'm doing it on myself. A lot of people get this wrong when they're trying the right liner. So tilt it back and then you want to draw from the corner of your eye towards your brow bone. Okay. And then I just like to draw from the tear duct to the end of that tail. So lift it up to connect it to the end of that tail, like that. Colour that middle triangle in. Okay. 
Perfect. Now repeat on the other side. Be right back. Once you have sisters on your eyes, because these are not twins, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to go in with my Be Perfect soap and I just brush it through my brows. So I already have it on my spoolie and I use a setting spray. I just used the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. And you just comb it through. The main thing is you need to let your eyeliner dry. Let that dry. While your brow and your liner is drying, the next step I'm going to do is do, 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 do. The next step is to do the rest of my face. So I like to just lightly set my whole face with Fix Plus. And then I put some highlighter on, some highlighter. And the highlighter I'm using is the Mua one. I'm using my SK01. And I just go to the tops of my cheekbones like so. And down my nose just a little bit and pop it some here on the tip of my nose. Perfect. The main part that's going to make this Christmassy and festive is, da, 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 da. what is wrong with me? I bought our fingers. Is the, this is the heavy metal from Urban Decay. It looks like this. You can pick whatever shade you want. This one is in pyro and what I like to do to give it that festive finish to my look is coat the brush lean back and go over my black liner with this glitter pen thing whatever you call it glitter eyeliner sorry this is why your eyeliner has to be nice and thick so that you can really see the colors now if you want to make it more festive, you could use like a red eyeliner, gel liner, and then just stick this on top. That would look so cool as well. But when I'm going to work, I want to look festive, but not too festive. <laughs> that makes sense. So yeah, look at that. Look how pretty that makes it. Okay, all you wanna do is put on some mascara. So I'm just using, this is Fenty Beauty, and it's called Full... The full frontal, so it's by Fenty Beauty as well. I'm not really fussed about what mascara I'm using. Just get your coat your eyelashes at the bottom and the top. Okay, let that dry. I'm gonna do my brows, so I like to use this, and this is by Urban Decay, and it's called Brunette Betty. Well, the shade is Brunette Betty. And it's a double end, so I like to use the pencil first. So, the pencil. And because my brows are so cool toned, this just kind of warms it back up, I suppose. Filling in any gaps that I have. It's mainly on this side, actually. Just going over with the pencil. Using my pen now and just mimicking little hair strokes. The marker part is really going to bring back the warmth in my brows. <laughs> so once you have your brows filled in to your, once you're happy with your brows, which I'm happy enough with them, I'm going to just throw on my lashes and I'll be right back. The last thing that sometimes I do, if I remember it really, um, is that I use the same heavy metal, Urban Decay, and everything has to be dry before you put this glitter on. So when I put the liner, let it dry. When I put the mascara, let it dry. Sometimes I just brush that on the ends of my bottom lashes. So yeah, just to give them a little something, something. See like that? Just let me just zoom you in a bit more. It kind of looks like snowflake landed on your lashes. How cute.
Lastly, I don't normally do this step because I wear a mask at work, so there's no point. But for this video, I will just put the Huda Beauty Love Stone Lip Balm. Just to finish this look. Okay, so this is the final look. Da -da -da -da. I told you it was quick and I told you it was easy. So this is the makeup look that I normally do every day leading up to Christmas. And the next video that I'm going to be doing is going to be the New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. So yeah, stay tuned for that. If you have any ideas that you want me to do, any looks, let me know down in the comments below. I would be happy to try and recreate these looks for you on this channel. And yeah, the next time I see you is going to be after Christmas. So until then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. And I shall see you in the next video. And happy Christmas. <laughs> Bye.